There's this thing people say about pi sometimes that you will be able to find any string of digits you want somewhere in pi. If you have a particular social security number, 972460102, that string of digits is going to be somewhere in pi. And while this is likely true because the strings of digits I just named are relatively small, just 10 digits, it's not something we know to be true because pi is not normal. Or at least we can't prove that pi is normal. A normal a normal number is a number that when you write it in a particular base, it's going to use every digit available in that base a roughly equal number of times. So let's consider a very simple example. Let's think about 0 0.01 repeating, but we're going to think about this in base 2. Base 2, or the binary number system, only has two digits, either 0 or 1. And this number, 0 0.01 repeating, is just going to be each one of those digits over and over again, on and on forever. So so for sure, we can say that in some sense, the digit zero is just as likely to occur as the digit one in this number, 0 0.010101, repeating on and on forever, base two. Now, that is a normal number in base two, but it's not absolutely normal. It's not normal in other bases. For example, it's not normal in our particular base, base 10. This number is actually the same thing as the fraction one third. So when you express it as a decimal in our number system, it's the same thing as 0.3 repeating which of course is definitely not normal because the only digit it ever uses is three. No other digit than three will ever occur in that decimal representation of one third. It's relatively easy to construct numbers that we know to be normal in a particular base. For example, I can easily make the repeating decimal 0 0.01234567891. And this is a normal number in base 10 because it uses each of the digits of base 10 in some sense exactly the same number of times. What's not so easy to know is when numbers have to be absolutely normal, normal regardless of the base they're in, or to go from a number to knowing that it's normal. That is, we can construct very particular kinds of numbers that we know have to be normal, but it's a lot harder to just take a look at a number that's already out there, like pi, the square root of two, or e, these irrational numbers, or in the case of pi and e, these transcendental numbers, and know for sure that they're normal. Know for sure that their decimal expansions, as they continue on and on forever, are going to repeat every digit or every possible grouping of digits the same number of times. Now, again, for relatively small strings of numbers, yes, pi has a lot of digits, a lot of different combinations of digits, and so you can probably find your phone number in there somewhere. But until someone proves that pi is normal, we actually don't know for sure that any particular string of digits has to occur, much less has to occur an infinite number of times.